what's this? Capitalism is simply the best way for a society to organize itself. But there has been a war and attack on capitalism since longer than I've been alive. I mean, it's been as, as long as capitalism has been understood to be what it is. That's nothing new. Okay, so after unboxing everything, here's what we started with. All the blue stuff, of course. Green stuff's already here. Primer tubes, handles, die set, conversion kits, powder check, primer check, Parts kit, the actual press itself, press parts kit, powder measure, and a quick change kit, and of course your case feeder and the case feeder plates. So a lot of stuff. Now we'll get busy putting it all together and cleaning up our mess. A lot of boxes here. Okay, after about an hour and a half, we've got to this point. We haven't got it mounted yet, but we got all the goodies on there. There's our shell feeder. Got the powder measure adjusted and tightened down. This is for the powder check. Cedar die. I've got to the crimp die yet. Here's your cell plate right here. Just a neat little machine. Well thought out, well put together. Dillon XL650. If we get it all mounted, we'll have it uh, start cranking out some shells to get used to using this thing. Not quite as big as I thought it was going to be in my room, so lots of room there. All in, big Dylan. Okay, it's not totally done yet, but we're getting close. Got the setup almost done. Everything's completed as far as the assembly goes. Just doing the final touches on setting up the all the dies, getting them all in line and in place. Have my spares heads all set, ready to go. It truly is a great little machine. The last step of our installation of the Dillon XL650. I built a, had a stand built. I built. <laughs> I had a stand built to uh, move it out from the bench a little bit. Um, have a problem with space, as you can see. Here's the edge of the desk, and you see where my space issue comes in right there. So we're going to move it out a couple inches, and we got a mounting place right in here. That'll actually bring it out a little bit and then uh, get that installed and show you what that looks like. Well, it's firmly mounted now. You can see there's no real play or wiggle in the, in the stand. Got our leg that supports the front of that, all the way down to the cement floor here. I actually have six bolts holding this together, four for the plate and two for the front of the machine. We measured up uh, the footprint of the Dillon press here with the strong mount on it. And we got a piece cut and welded to match with the leg on it. 
thanks to the Ultimate Reloader who gave me the idea for this. So one installation complete. Now on the loading. Somewhere down the road. And there it is. Got a little clearance up here. Got some room for our machine. All right. All the fun stuff of a Dylan XL650. I want to turn a pile of this into a pile of that without spending a whole lot of time. Well, if you're using one of these single stage press, every 100 rounds is going to take about two hours to do. Great press, great machine, great starter press, but time consuming. Four pulls of the handle to make one bullet. Sizing die, belling die, seating die, put the primer in, etc. If you want to get through the job in a hurry, you need to get one of these. This one's set up for 45 ACP. has five stations station one here this one right here is where the shell casing is inserted and then you have the die set and the die head up here first station is for decapping resizing station two puts a new primer on also is your powder throw station three would be your powder check, which is what this is here. Make sure you're as you go, you don't miss any powder. Station four is for your bullet seating. Station five is for your finished sizing. And then it ejects the shell out. These are great machines. The basic, basic machine without the bullet holder runs with the with the uh, case feeder will run you about twelve hundred dollars this is December 2012 so you got a good idea what that what that runs a few extras on here uh, the the powder check is an extra I think it's sixty some dollars you have to check their catalog but I think it's around sixty bucks need a die set the machine does not come with the die set when you order it so whatever it's set up for, it's set up for the um, basics, the the shell plate, the pins, and everything else to go, but the die set does not come with it. So if you're thinking about one of these and you order from Dylan, the die set is not included. You must order a die set to go with that whatever caliber you're going to do with. Just so you know. So I'll get this puppy loaded up. I gotta put some primers in here, we got a little bit of powder, and I'll get some cases and we'll show it in operation. Okay, step one after we sort our brass, get it clean. We're gonna be loading some 45 ACPs here. It's time to be nickel cases. They're pretty clean right now. Get a little of our Dillon case lube on there. They say you don't need much of this, but I like to put just a little on and turn around a little bit. And we're going to let that dry for a second. While those are drying, we're going to do a little hunter pickup here with our primer tube. They only go in one way.
Okay, here's what we're loading today. We're loading 45 ACP. We have a large pistol primers, a case, some powder, and some new bullets. These are precision bullets made in Texas. They're a plastic coated lead bullet rather than being copper coated, so a little bit cheaper. And you can see the finished product here. Get all done. I would highly recommend you get a case gauge. That's what this is. This is made from Dillon. Gives you an idea of overall length of the cartridge. See there, it's just right, and it fits in and slides out really easy. So we know that the press is set up correctly. And just uh, in today's prices, uh, currently for 45 ACP, if you have to buy everything, I'm talking about everything, the cases, the primers, the bullets, and the powder, uh, you can load them for about 29 cents a round. And again, the, the cases, if you have your own cases, that'll reduce that by quite a bit, uh, 11 and a half cents. So you know, take that off of there. Uh, you're looking at, uh, you know, 18 cents a round to load. Uh, nine millimeters are a little cheaper, a lot cheaper, actually. Nine millimeters, that's buying a case and everything. At the best prices I could find, anyway. You can get uh, 16 cents a round, which works out to be about $8 a box. And they retail for anywhere from, you know, Ten to thirteen dollars a box, and of course you're getting custom loads. Really helps you, so it doesn't not quite so hot or whatever. For again, for the forty fives, uh, if the whole cost was twenty nine cents a round, you can see the box would cost you fourteen dollars, and they're almost twenty dollars new. So you can see quite a bit of savings, and of course it'll take a while to pay off your press if you want to you know do all that stuff, but uh, just made up a little chart with all these different calibers. So you got nine thirty eights. 40 Smith and Wesson, you know they're 19 cents a round, uh, and this all includes the brass. So you, some some point you're gonna have the expense of the brass. So that's uh, that's where that is. I would def definitely highly recommend getting a case gauge so you can you can check these, and they should just drop right in and drop right out. Okay, so we're gonna try to show you the whole process here from start to finish. Um, we've already preloaded our. Uh, casings into the case feeder it's gonna pop them right down to here and then down under the shell plate so the first pull the handle to get started we're going to bring the ram up and insert a case into the shell plate okay on our second pull we're going to resize this cartridge empty cartridge we're gonna put a new one we're gonna rotate this out and put a new one in and then we're gonna prime this cartridge in this station right here so as we come up, we're going to resize that one. See it rotate. And as I come down, we're going to both seat and place the cartridge right in there. So as you can see, we have a resized primed case now at station number two. Now station number two, when I bring the ram up, we're going to be putting powder in it. Okay. And the beep you're hearing is our powder check. So as you as you have nothing there, it's going to beep. Or if it's high or low, it's going to beep. It doesn't give you precise, but it gives you close. So as long as you're close, you're okay. So that's what that beeping sound is. So they go in again. We're going to make sure this primer is seated. Case, this case is going to resize. This one's going to be uh, charged with powder and then rotated to the next station. Okay, so now I've Put a new cartridge in. I've primed, sized and primed this one. This one now has powder in it. And hopefully our beeper is going to stop beeping. There should be powder in there. Come around again. Okay, so you hear, don't hear a beep. So that means I have the, about, the amount right, about the amount, right amount of powder in there. And we've again set a new case. We've sized and now primed this one. This one has powder. This one's ready for a bullet. So we're going to take our bullet out of the tray here. Pop it right on top. Okay. Now we're going to seat the bullet in this station and start the process over again. Okay. So we have all five stations filled. We have a new cartridge ready to be sized. We have a sized and now primed cartridge. We now have a, this also bells it, I should say. This is the powder check station ready for another bullet. And this one's going to be done. So as you can tell, once you get this thing going, 
uh, it's quite the operation. So I'll just go ahead and load a couple up and uh, uh, we'll get, give you an idea of what it looks like. Here we go. of just a little bit of work on the Dillon 650 XL great machine it's got a lot of a lot of rounds in a short amount of time you can see it's still all loaded up ready to go just a fantastic bullet making machine once it's all set up it does take a little bit to get it set up not saying it's easy but if you take your time, do it right, follow the instructions. Um, took me about oh hour and a half to assemble it out of the box. Took my time, didn't run it in a hurry. Uh, of course, I have do have reloading experience. I know what parts are. Um, biggest problem I had was getting used to how the um, powder funnel actually resized the the case. I mean, uh, build the cases. Had to get that figured out. Once I got that done, it was pretty much a piece of cake from there on. So, um, a little setup time, but well worth the effort. And I'll tell you what, these suckers put out some ammo. Here's the other neat thing about this reloader. In the short time I showed you how to use this thing, <clears throat> I cranked out 42 bullets just, just. Uh, trying to get it done so I mean it it does crank them out pretty darn fast so um, you get an idea of how many rounds you can put out uh, in a short amount of time I mean this probably took me less than what 10-15 minutes even with setup time uh, just getting her done so uh, just to tell you guys if you're into volume shooting at all and you want to have something that's gonna put out some ammo that you can go go plank with this is the way to go.